Hello everybody, Ben Woodruff here with the Hutchings Museum. Today I'm going to be talking about a very special prehistoric cat called Homotherium, or the scimitar toothed cat. The reason I'm talking about this cat today is because it's been in the news recently and there's a lot of misinformation out there being spread. We want to get the facts right. Homotherium was a prehistoric cat that lived during the Pliocene to the Pleistocene. So about 4 million years ago till about uh, 10,000 years ago. Now this is a species that had a very wide range and we keep finding more and more fossil evidence of it. It was all across North America, all the way down uh, into the northern part of South America. It was all over, over Europe and Northern Asia. It was one of the most successful big cats of all times. It had a very long history, very wide range, and we think in a lot of ways it was quite a generalist hunting a wide range of prey species that allowed it to adapt to cold climates and hot climates and jungles and everywhere in between. Now this species, Homotherium, that's a scientific name and its true name, but we usually give it a nickname and that is the scimitar toothed cat. Now one of the problems is in the news recently, uh, there is a scientific paper that just came out. Back in 2020, there was a mummified Homotherium that was discovered in Russia. Now this Homotherium cub was only about three weeks old and it's mostly the front half that's been preserved. So scientists have taken this and carefully preserved it and done all kinds of scans and have already learned so much about this species. This is the first time uh, this cat has ever been found in a mummified form. We have lots of skeletons of them from around the world, but to have actual soft tissue is amazing from hair and the collagens, even whiskers on the face if you look closely. Now we also have, uh, scientists have compared this to a lion cub of the same age and we see a lot of very distinct differences. We can see that the ears are set different, that the jaw is lower and thicker. Uh, we can see just kind of the, the placement of everything around the body. Also on the paws, we can see that compared to a lion cub of the same age, the paws are much more widespread and we think that's kind of very similar to like a snowshoe hare or a lynx where they have wider spread feet. That's an adaptation for walking in the deep snow, just like a snowshoe, so you don't sink in. In the news, what we are finding is that news agencies are trying to have a good story. They want to get people watching uh, and reading and looking at what they have to say. And so they're using the term, an extinct saber-toothed cat was discovered. A mummified saber-toothed cat, how exciting. And so a lot of people are sharing this information with us here at the museum and saying, did you hear about this? It's a saber tooth." It's not a saber tooth, it's a homotherium. There's a very important difference. There's a difference between being a cat with saber teeth versus a saber toothed cat. So the real saber tooth is called Smilodon fatalis. Smilodon was a bit bigger than Homotherium and had much longer saber teeth. The Smilodon only lived in North America and into South America, only a New World species. We have no evidence that Smilodon ever ranged out ever. We know that Smilodon evolved in North America and eventually was able to go across through Central America and colonize most of South America, where the South American saber tooth became even bigger than the North American one. But the saber tooth is a very specialized species. It's a neck grabber. It's got oversized front teeth that are designed to bite and rip out the throat and neck of camels, giant camels, which the Ice Age in North and South America were filled with. From the size of a llama or an alpaca or a guanaco, which are some of the smallest camels, all the way up to giant camels uh, as tall as a giraffe. So the real saber tooth, Smilodon, had a very specific lifestyle. It was a specialist. Homotherium was a generalist. Homotherium's teeth are long. These saber teeth are long, but they're nowhere near as long as a Smilodon. With the mouth completely open, they make for a huge gap that is able to tear flesh and bite and do damage all over. The saber tooth had teeth that were only built specifically to fit in between the neck bones of a camel. So there's an important difference between this true saber tooth, the Smilodon, and the Homotherium, which has been given the nickname the scimitar tooth cat. That being that these teeth are more scimitar shaped than saber shaped. They're not as wide, they're not as long, they're not as strong. So it's a different design for a different animal. 
Homo Ethereum is one of the largest cats we had in North America during the Ice Age, but we had many cats. In addition to Homo Ethereum, we of course had the Smilodon or saber, true saber tooth cat. We had several species of Jaguar, and we even had the mighty American lion. This lion weighed up to 1,200 pounds. That's as heavy as four of these, uh, and it's a powerful cat that we should be talking much more about but because it has the term lion it doesn't seem exciting if you say a saber-toothed cat or a similar tooth cat that captures imagination it, it's good public relations uh, if you're trying to get information out there but the american lion is the biggest cat that ever lived it evolved directly from the cave lions of europe and once it made it to the new world it just got huge and would tackle absolutely anything but the really interesting thing is the fact that even though this was not the biggest cat in the New World, we have evidence that it would kill baby woolly mammoths. In Frieson Cave in Texas, they found the remains of over 200 baby Colombian mammoths that were dragged to the cave by Homotherium. We've also found there are remains of countless homotherium in the cave of all ages. Babies, old and aging ones, and healthy young adults. So we know that this cave was inhabited by homotherium, and we know that the homotherium would, would kill baby Colombian mammoths and drag them up to the cave. So even though this was not the king of the Ice Age in North America, we know it hunted the biggest beast that ever lived, which is the uh, Colombian mammoth. It's one of the most amazing finds. But again, what we're really excited about is the new information coming out with the DNA tests from this brand new mummy that was discovered just a couple of years ago, and we're just getting the information out now. So we wanted to share this with you to make sure you knew the difference, that the, the cat in question being described is a scimitar-toothed cat or a homotherium, not a saber-toothed cat or a smilodon.